There is no legal definition of hate speech in the United States, and freedom of speech is a fundamental human right. So what? So the only world in which hate speech would be defined, correct me if I'm wrong, you're drawing a hypothetical. You've ignored the reality of where we are now. Hate Let me finish my phrase. Hate speech exists phrase. without a law. Let me you run up and call someone a nigger. That's hate speech. First dude. off, I wouldn't you use that language. You could be fined for hate speech. Welcome back to another installment of Change My Mind. For those unfamiliar, this is a segment where I go on the street, we take one given topic, and I just listen to people. Let them change my mind, we rationalize our positions, and it's usually really productive. We attempt to have a civil dialogue. Sometimes people end up changing their own minds. Uh, and we'll show someone in just a few seconds here. But I do want to show you something first. It's important to note that there are some people out there who have no interest in a rational discussion. They will be angry and volatile no matter what, like this guy. Do you, would you like to have a discussion or would you like to interrupt and be contentious? I'm trying would to listen. Would you like to be arrogant and not hear anyone, hear people say, you're making me you uncomfortable, keep... you're hurting me, you're, you're causing dysfunction in the world, say, so, oh, are you gonna have an intellectual discussion? Because like, I don't understand or No, I understand exactly. You said, you said there's no you really definition of a human right. You really don't. People who understand and empathize with other people, when they say, hey man, you're really making me uncomfortable and you, you're, you're making my life worse. Yeah, legally that's they irrelevant. They practice on hearing. They don't make references to the f***ing law, man. But that's they what matters. Things. No, it's not. Like, what are yeah, you... Yeah, it is. Dude, I'm literally autistic. So? Okay? I can understand other people's feelings better than you, apparently. Really? How would you know that? Imagine if I run up and I'm a real big jerk to you. Kind of like you are right yeah. now. Yeah! Now, even with that having occurred, this lady who could not disagree with me more ended up having an entirely different experience. Why do you have Question? a suit on? Well, Is it symbolizing male, white male privilege? No, I hadn't even thought of it that way. Is that what you thought when you look at it? Huh? I, well, I wondered. Is it because I'm a white male? And you're dressed in white? Well, it's just to fit the sign. Okay. It doesn't really mesh well with the, uh, the peach skin tone, as it were. Mm. Do you have a problem with white male privilege? Yes, I do. No. Oh. How so? White, white males have destroyed this country. Oh, really? Yes, they have. I disagree. Would you like to change my mind? Or present, imagine, have a discussion? Can you imagine if women had been in charge for all these years, how much different things could have been? I'm not saying they could have been better. Sure. Steven, by the way. Oh, Terry. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it. Was it you hurt your wrist there? Or? No. It's oh, okay. tunnel. Oh, oh, you know, I have that too. Broken. Oh, you do? Yeah, I wanted to learn piano too, and it's just really? got to be chopsticks. Oh. Yeah. You want to have it fixed? You know, I've looked at the surgery in it, but I have to do another knee surgery now, so it's like, oh. I want to, I got to decide what I want working at the time. Yeah, you might want to fix your knee so you can walk, walk, and then you can yeah. walk to the other surgery to have your wrist done. You know what's helped is I've, I've gone to an iPad for my laptop, and so mm -hmm. as opposed to constant mouse work, mm -hmm. doing this seems yeah. to have helped quite a bit. But I'm interested in what you said, okay, so imagine how different the, the world would be, or the country, if women ran it. Yeah. If women had been the ones in charge, okay. you know, and men had been the ones fighting for suffrage all those years, you know? But men were the ones fighting for suffrage. Well, not for themselves. Sure, for women. Are you aware that uh, it was over 60% over of women didn't want the right to vote? It was actually closer to, it was like 70 something percent. You know why? Those, in those mostly majority would have been wealthy women, right? No. No, a big reason why actually, we were just talking about this with Naomi Wolf, is uh, because the, the right to vote was actually it was always a privilege. It wasn't just a basic right. And so for men, it included the draft, mandatory mm -hmm. bucket duty, meaning firefighting services. Mm -hmm. And when it was proposed, it was, okay, women, the right to vote comes with these responsibilities. They didn't want it. So a majority of women right. didn't want those responsibilities, so they didn't want the right to, so to we vote. we want to vote, but we don't want to wear the pants. Like that was back then, yeah. I mean, right. We still want men to treat us like delicate China. Yes. Right. You know, well, well, back then, historically, you know, so women yeah. did get the right to vote, but they weren't a part of the draft. They didn't have mm -hmm. to perform in the firefighting service. Right. I'm not saying, it's by like, the way, that women shouldn't have the right to vote. I'm just saying right. it's looking through but, today's lens of history. Right. It's back all then. or nothing. It's like, all right, ladies, you want this? Well, this goes with it. I mean, right. we can also tell you that you can be drafted just as easily as we can. Wait, is, that, is that something you'd support, women in the, in the draft? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can we ask what this is? Yeah. Sure, absolutely. Oh, sorry. I, well, you know, no, I, no, no. I'm, yes, I was just, yeah. hate speech is not a thing. It doesn't exist. And anyone can change my mind. If, do you disagree? Like racism and stuff. What about like racism and stuff? You can all you can all come in and discuss. By the way, it's a, a hate speech. What is hate speech? Hateful things. 
Okay. Negative. What's the legally, Negative. but hate speech, right? What's the legal, what is hate speech? What's the legally defined term? What does it mean? I don't know, you tell me. It doesn't exist. I don't know if it, has a, it doesn't have a legally defined term. It does in my country of, of Canada or in Europe oh, where you can be jailed for saying offensive things, but in the States, the First Amendment protects against that. So the question- Canada? I was raised in Canada. Yeah, I live here now. Thank God. Why, why do you want to go to America? Why? We all want to go. Yeah, really? we all want to go to Canada. Well, why don't you go to Canada? I just came here. I wanted to come and I came. Why don't you go to Canada then? Because I would love to. Why? <laughs> free health care. Really? Free health care? Yeah. I'd have to sell my condo. I'd have to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. You'd have to, what, 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 is, uh, what is free about health care in Canada? What do you pay in taxes here in the States? Well, I like, it's like, well, my paycheck was really small, so. So you didn't pay, eh. okay. So right now you're fundamentally not paying taxes. So yeah. what if I were to say, you know, that your tax is over, your taxes are over half, your marginal income tax rate. You're paying 14% sales tax, and you still have to pay for 70% of the drugs and services you want in Canada. And the wait times are bad. As a matter of fact, no, there are fewer. The a doctor in Canada are bad, I heard. They're really bad. Than yeah. So if you want to move there for just free health care, also, by the way, they're not super friendly to immigrants with the health care. Doesn't include you guys right off the bat. Yeah. They're, they're actually much stricter on immigration than the United States. Oh. And that includes Americans. It includes, it includes people coming in that haven't paid enough time into the pool, right? right? So Canadians really Which is understandable. Immigration? No, no, they're not. It's just, you know, when you're talking about a socialized health care safety net, a lot of people don't understand sort of the, the asterisk that comes with it. Like pay your dues, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? So it's just interesting to hear a lot of people say they want to move to Canada. So you would be okay with like Canadian law where you can be jailed for quote unquote hate speech or fined? Yeah. What, yeah. Is, so what is hate speech in Canada like then? Well, they just passed a, a bill where uh, you can actually, depending on how you read it legally, you can be fined or you can be jailed for misusing uh, gender pronouns for someone who's transgender. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. You can be punished for that By legally. Accident? What if you... I mean, at that point, right, legally, it's either it's illegal or it's not. So right. then it becomes, is it by accident or is it on right. purpose? Either way, is it something that should be a punishable offense? No. Okay. So we said that, we've said that's not hate speech. So in other words, they're trying to break down the First Amendment rights in Canada. Well, they don't have a First Amendment. No other country has but, a First Amendment right. outside the United yeah. States. Okay, yeah, free speech doesn't exist outside the United States. A lot of people don't know that. So are we willing to trade that if speech is offensive? I say no but I'm willing to hear any arguments that change my mind. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all, you know, even if we disagree on, let's say, everything, I think it's important to listen to what an opposing point of view has to say. In other words, we can just, you're trying to define hate speech as just in the same category as all speech. It's yes. First Amendment. Yes. So, and it's your right. It doesn't make it ethical, of course. It doesn't make it. Of course. Um, you could say something very offensive, for example, very racist that I would disagree with right. horribly, but it's speech. Yeah. You have the right to say it, and I have the right to be offended if I right. want. I have the right to disagree with it. Yeah. Uh, I have the right to argue why you're wrong, but I don't believe that we have the right to shut yeah. down anyone's speech based on a term like hate, but yeah. I'm, I'm open to hearing convincing arguments on hate speech. Good point. Not to mention when you um, say something like that you didn't mean, and once it comes out of your mouth, you can't take it back. Yeah, I know and you didn't, may not have meant it, or it just accidentally slipped out, or right. the wrong person heard it, the mic microphone was on. <laughs> Get a couple wild turkeys in you, all of a sudden you're yep. talking about making America great again, you never mm -hmm. know what comes out. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. But you're not pro-Trump. Um, that's an interesting question. I'm, I'm actually more of a libertarian. I am definitely a conservative, having moved to the States, leaving a socialist country. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Trump individually. Conservatives? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm pro-free speech, I'm pro-Second mm -hmm. Amendment, I'm pro-limited mm -hmm. government. I don't, yeah. I don't really know what Trump is on any of those policies. No. But, for example, looking at his recent tax proposal, I would support mm -hmm. that. I would support uh, be, coming from a family of, of legal immigrants. Mm -hmm. I would support uh, ensuring our, our borders, making sure that we're secure, mm -hmm. uh, while, of course, allowing people to immigrate here legally. Mm -hmm. So, certain policy, I definitely line up more with him than, say, like Hillary Clinton or Bernie mm -hmm. Sanders, but I don't... I don't particularly like him. Right, because it's there, there's a few facts about Trump that that are bothersome to me. Yeah. Um, the fact that I expect that because many presidents before him, especially um, even Michelle Obama had a PhD. 
Barack had a PhD. That's the highest position in the country. Wouldn't you think we would expect at least a person to be that well educated? You have a PhD. He's got a bachelor's that his dad probably paid for. Right. Okay? We we pretty much know that. I mean, come on. Can I and not to mention. Um, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, I was going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Um, who would you say, or just, you don't have to pick any one specifically, but list, who would you say were the best presidents, like, throughout history? From George Washington up until today. Who would you, who are your personal favorite? Well, my personal favorite is Abe Lincoln. Okay. Did he have a PhD? Um, I do not know. Is it but possible I... that Abraham Lincoln read in a shack by candlelight? Mm-hmm. With very little formal education? Mm-hmm. You tell me, did he? Yep. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm... Figuring that's the case as you're saying that. Um, my my only my only contention there is that a, a, a PhD doesn't make anyone smart or unintelligent. I've met people right. with PhDs who are moronic. I've met yeah. people who never graduated high school who are brilliant. Yeah. It's not to say you're wrong yeah. if you're uh, if you uh, your presupposition is that President Trump is unintelligent. Mm -hmm. I'm not arguing that, but I don't think that a PhD mm -hmm. is a fair de determining parameter. Mm. And based, it seems on your own preferences, we'd probably agree on that. Yeah, unless you, possibly unless you look at the fact that um, educational opportunities were not as easy for people, for press presidents as they might have been for Trump, especially since Trump has enough money, mm -hmm. you know, to have gone that far. Um, and that has stifled his maturity, I believe. Um, I mean, he, he's, sorry, but he's a toddler. I mean, he is, he's immature. I think he's emotionally um, immature. I would, I would agree on that. I am a um, therapist. Okay. I, um, so clinically speaking, he is mentally ill and not stable. He doesn't belong in the White House. Yeah, but we can't necessarily forbid him from the White House if people voted for him. Right, mm -hmm. just based on that. Yeah, but I don't acknowledge him as my president. You don't? No, I don't. Why is that? No, because he's not representing what I feel are, is valuable. Okay. My values. Okay. And. But he is the president yeah. legally. And, and like, I feel like every stupid opportunity that he has, like the, like going to Puerto Rico, throwing paper towels, it's like PR stunts. Yeah. You know. And he, his his rhetoric, he, he's. Doesn't I mean? What did I hear the other day? He said uh, he was looking uh, to speak to the president of the Virgin Islands or something like that. Yeah. He, he's just that bad that he mm -hmm. doesn't understand. His just his his horizons aren't open enough. So it'd be safe to say that you're you're probably more left. You're liberal. I am. Okay, but uh, I guess on this it sounds like we agree. You support Al the first. Al Franken for president. Okay. Sounds like we agree, though, on, on, on this, on the idea of the First Amendment and no limitations on freedom of speech. And then they walk? We have to, because when we start putting those limitations, we're going to be like, when, uh, we're going to be needing Amnesty International to step in and save our asses. Right. You know what I mean? So you're pretty... You said something that, yeah. You're pretty right-leaning on that, libertarian yeah. on that. Does yeah. it bother you at all that uh, your, your party, who you support, the DNC, people like Al Franken, there's a lot of proposed legislation on speech that they support hate speech laws. Does that concern they you? They support those um, hate speech laws. Constrictions yeah. on the First Amendment. And um, also, of course, culturally, I'm sure you're aware liberals obviously are, are far less tolerant of speech they disagree with. But on the legal side, would you be, for example, opposed to any legislation that would impede on someone's speech? I would oppose to it. Okay. Would I you didn't vote know that for was a left and leftist leaning? Mm -hmm. It is, even though. Yeah. So that's ironic because. Um, Hillary, yeah, I mean, Bernie, I, Warren, I, I Graham. It's not politics, it's in no, uh, sure. psychology, but... Um, I'm actually very interested to hear your, your opinion on that, because, you know, you would know more about the pathology behind that, and it yeah. seems like you agree with, seems like we find common ground, even though I'm a, an evil right-wing, privileged white male from Canada, and <laughs> you're more a liberal. Well, if you're from Canada, you can't be all that bad. <laughs> um, well, it's interesting that that's um, something they get behind, because if they're... Um, you know, if the liberal left-wing view has always been, you know, free, free thinking, mm -hmm. and you know, free to be who you are, and you know, gay rights and all this stuff, and right? Immigration and you know, pro-immigration. 
um, why wouldn't we still welcome that freedom to express ourselves? Right. You know, because um, I'm an artist too. Sure. And you never want to think that it would start to spread in that regard too. Right. That we could be stifled by our, our um, ability to express ourselves in that um, particular um, manner. Okay. And be, have it be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tyrannical. Yeah. It could be tyrannical. But have it be, um, I mean, uh, defined or right. looked at or sure you know so let me ask has, you this has, oh i see a message in this it's hate so take it off the wall and you're, right. ar you're arrested for i know yeah well, well i didn't mean it that way well, right exactly well, let me let me ask you this kind of fi final question because mm -hmm. I, I know you have to go on, on on your merry way here today let me ask you this um if you will you now do maybe after this conversation a little more research into candidates you support regarding their positions on freedom of speech yeah and because i didn't know um Al Franken was opposed. Well, let's say whoever it is, whether yeah. it's Bernie or Hillary Clinton, would you look into it more? And let's say it were a candidate who supported some form of uh, hate speech laws mm -hmm. or constrictions in the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. Would you consider not voting for them, even though they were a Democrat? Yeah. I definitely would. See, that was nice. Not everyone's this guy. Imagine we change the First Amendment. Yeah. And then we pass a law saying that X behavior is hate speech. Right. Is it now hate speech? That would be a violation of human rights, and I wouldn't support it. Thank God there's no law like that's, that that exists. That's wonderful. Imagine that we did it. But here's the thing. You're not... You're, Imagine that we did it. Can I... Can I... Can I... I just answered your question. I'm here Imagine to that we did it. Imagine that we did that it. hate speech isn't a thing because there's no legal definition of it. Right. I'm saying imagine if there was a legal definition yes. of it. Yes. Yeah. I would would be it a, then be hate speech? It, no, no. It would be a violation of human rights, and that's I wouldn't wonderful. support it. I agree it's a violation of human rights. Okay. So would you don't support hate speech hate laws? Speech? I do. Okay. I'm hearing you say that whether or not something What's is that? hate speech hinges on whether or not it's legally defined. No. What, what okay. I'm saying is, yes. And first I don't want I don't to hear you that. tell me that there is not a legal. There is no legal of definition speech. of hate speech in the United That's States, and freedom of speech so is what? a fundamental human right. So what? So the only world in which hate speech would be defined, correct me if I'm wrong. You're drawing a hypothetical. You've ignored the reality of where we are now. Hate Let me finish my phrase. Hate speech exists phrase. without a law. Let me you run up and call someone a nigger. That's hate speech. First dude. off, I wouldn't you use that language. You could be fined for hate speech. Hey, did you enjoy this video? Here's the thing. You're over, you're here. This is the end of it. So we don't care because you already watched it. But if you really didn't like it and you want to justify it, leave a comment below telling us why you didn't like the video. And if you liked us, let us know and uh, subscribe to the channel because that lets the overlords at YouTube know that uh, you know what. You're all right.